Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with another tutorial for MassiveSynth.com. First, if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please sign up at youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts, that's T-U-T-S. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks using the parallel routing feature inside of Massive. So the actual filters for this synth are pretty simple. The majority of your filter types give you two different controls, cutoff and resonance. There are a few that give you some other controls like scream gives you the scream, uh, your, your uh, comb gives you pitch and all that stuff. But for the most part, it's just the two parameter filters or filter types inside of Massive. Well, the real cool part about Massive's filters are the way you can route your sounds into it. It actually gets pretty in depth. And I thought I'd spend a tutorial showing you one of my favorite routing uh, setups to kind of create some really cool sounds. So you, at the root level or the bass level, you have an output from your oscillators here, right here where it says F1 and F2, that will tell how much of or where to route that oscillator to from the output or the input into the filters, whether it's filter one or filter two or a blend between the two. But then when you actually hit the filters, you have this serial and parallel mode where you can differentiate between how the filters are going to interpret the sound that's coming to it from the oscillators, which is pretty cool. And then you also can send a different mix of those two setups to your output. So it gets really in depth with what you, with what you can do. And of course, because it's massive, you can modulate between serial and parallel, mix one and two. You can just do a bunch of cool stuff. So I'm going to show you this sound real quick. Let me play it. All right, so you should be able to hear that kind of um, high-pitched organ type sound in there. Well, that's all happening in filter two. So the bulk of this sound is filter one. So let me show you what's going on in filter one. So, that, so that's a cool lead, like there's nothing wrong with it, but the, cool ca the character of the sound that I played first is happening using this parallel routing. So in when you set your filter to parallel mode, what's happening is it allows you to independently process any of the oscillators from each other in the filters. So right now, if you look at my oscillator one, uh, two and three, they are all going to filter one entirely. And that's a low pass two. And that's what we're hearing right now. So I'm turning on filter two. Nothing happens. That's because I've told the outputs of my oscillator to go into the uh, filter one and it's happening in parallel mode. So when I start to introduce this oscillator one back into the sound and I'll take out oscillators two and three, this is everything that's happening just in filter two. Right, so that's where that, that cool sound is coming from. And like I said, the bulk of this is happening in filter one. And filter two is just, I use it as this tool to create some cool character to the sound. And you can do this with leads, with basses, whatever it may be, because the most, the majority of the sounds I've seen in Massive have been are typically one filter sounds. So you can just load up a second filter type and say, okay, what do I want to boost, or what frequencies, or what character or element of the sound do I really want to pop and make stand out, and choose your filter type accordingly. So with like a bass and maybe like a dubstep type sound, maybe if they're using a low pass filter, you could load up a comb or a daft or a scream and then have one of the oscillators or add an oscillator if it's only one oscillator sound, but have it routed using this parallel mode into the open and available filter. And then you can do some all, you can do crazy things with it. So this sound in filter two is being heavily modulated with a third envelope that is shaped like this. It has a really short attack, short decay, short level, hardly any release. And that's what's getting that kind of uh, cool 
organ type element to it that almost has like a glide going into it. So you can you can use obviously LFOs to modulate these things. You can use envelopes. I do want to point out, and it's very important to remember this, if you want a true parallel setting inside of Massive, your mix knob has to be in the middle. If it's not in the middle, then it's not going to be a true parallel. And you, what you'll get is certain frequencies and sounds will leak through to the other filter. So have this in the middle if you want a true parallel sound. But that's that's really it. It's just something to consider and to remember when you're making sounds that Massive has some really interesting routing capabilities going into the filters. Specifically, I think the parallel routing where you're basically using each filter independent from each other and you can control which oscillator goes into either of those filters. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you haven't checked out MassiveSynth.com, head on over there. Tons of cool things Massive related. As always, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.